All right, guys, Gemini, back with another video. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about The Undertaker. First things first, uh, anytime you say anything against anyone on here, instantly dislike, instantly you're wrong, blah, blah, blah. Okay, first off, there's not a whole lot of guys on YouTube and WWE fans that are a bigger fan and respect The Undertaker more than me. So let's get that out of the way. And you can ask anyone who's been in Skype calls with me. What's the first thing that Jem always talks about in a Skype call? WrestleMania 25 and 26, the two match series versus Shawn Michaels. Probably the favorite, my most favorite thing that ever happened in wrestling. So get that out of the way. I'm a fan of The Undertaker. My only question is, is The Undertaker healthy enough to be competing at the high level versus the top talent uh, in the company? For instance, this past SummerSlam, when he fought his match with Brock Lesnar, what happened uh, when he was heading back up the ramp? The guy collapsed. What happened when he fought uh, Triple H, you know, a few years ago at WrestleMania in Atlanta? Uh, he could barely get out of the ring. You know, and same thing at, uh, what, the WrestleMania 30 versus Brock Lesnar. They had to take his ass to the hospital. You just got to wonder, is The Undertaker healthy enough to be competing at a high level? After all the years and years of traveling and taking beatings in the ring and everything he's done, is he still in the same shape that he was to be competing at a main event level? I want The Undertaker in the main event of WrestleMania. I want The Undertaker in the main event of Survivor Series, SummerSlam, WrestleMania, you know, Royal Rumble. I want him in all that stuff. You know, I do. But you just have to wonder about the guy. Can he physically handle what it takes to be at that level and, you know not just undertaker but you have to worry about a guy like triple h after all the beatings he's taken through the years and uh you know Shawn michaels you know he stepped away he was a true main eventer but you wonder about all these guys health they're not getting any younger undertaker's not getting any younger those beatings that he's taken in the ring through the years aren't going to get any better i mean you just gotta wonder is it the right move for wwe to be putting a guy out there who's had 25 years, 30 years in the wrestling business and taking all his beatings and is not in the best shape, uh, competing at that high level. You know, I'm sure The Undertaker, you know, has a lot of pride and he's making a ton of money. I'm sure he got a huge SummerSlam check and him and Michelle and their ranch in Texas are loving it and life is good for The Undertaker. It's really good. You just have to wonder for The Undertaker when it's time to step aside and say, you know what? I can't physically do this anymore. I gotta walk away. I just I smash that dislike button. I'm sure you will. Here, I'll give you something to really dislike since I'm sure you dislike this already. How about that right there? How about John Cena? Chain gang, baby. Huh? Now you can really dislike. Is the Undertaker healthy enough? I'm just saying. Sure don't seem like he can get out of the ring after a massive beating without collapsing or having to go to the hospital. I feel bad for the guy. I don't want him to get hurt. I want him to go enjoy life post-wrestling. Just saying. I'm Gemini. Thank you.